Okay, I've just transferred my wort into my six gallon better bottle and pitched my rehydrated dry yeast. Uh, and I just actually ran my oxygen system for about two minutes and turned it off because the foam was about to come out of the neck. But essentially what it is, is a regular aquarium diffuser stone stuck onto the end of a piece of a hard acrylic tubing uh, and then some silicone tubing that goes to my oxygen bottle with a, a medical regulator on it so I can dial in a very slow rate of uh, oxygen delivery and as you can tell it's basically churning pretty good um, delivering oxygen directly into the wort and this is absolutely required if you do full boils because the oxygen becomes depleted after a 60-minute boil so you're gonna get a much quicker uh, start on your fermentation if you get oxygen back into it as well as increase your attenuation versus simply just rocking the carboy or aerating by whisking or stirring it I feel that this method is also much better to uh, reduce the possibility of infection because you're not splashing the wort uh, in in the open air essentially. Okay, I finished aerating, or I should say oxygenating the wort. Uh, you can see it's got a nice foam head on it uh, from all the agitation, and I put the carboy cap on, and I use the sen center hole and uh, put some. 5 sixteenths uh, vinyl hose in there and then I have it submerged in a plastic bottle that's mostly filled with water so I spared you the view of the mess on the floor when I woke up this morning but suffice to say that there was a bit of blow-off going on Krausen rose all the way up to the neck, and it, I was coming out of the, the blow-off tube and actually overflowed the uh, the bottle of water that the hose was going into. As you can see, the activity is pretty vigorous. Thank <laughs> you.